we were at um we were at Zeb's mom and dad's house and we were I don't know what we were doing but we were tooling around in the truck and Tom would they have this long lane at their house it goes all the way back to the woods and there's piles of like iron and steel and a bunch of stuff that I take your dad probably brought from like he's been stealing that off job sites for 50 years but go ahead whatever right like shit left over yes got made its way to his house right yes there you go so tate and i are in the truck driving down the lane and tom is down the lane and he's on he's on my the the, the piles are on my side the passenger, passenger side, side. The side. Passenger we're side. driving towards him and he's pulling out stuff to throw in the back of the truck because he must have had an idea of a project or something he's gonna do back at the barn so we're driving up and tate's like all hunched over with his hand on his steering wheel and he's like got his arm out the window and he's like hey watch this i'm gonna get real close to him and scare him and i'm so i'm like oh okay all right so as we roll up we get to be about 50 feet away from him. we're going about five miles an hour and it's 40 feet and i look out the so the the window's like right here i look out the window and i'm looking at the the mirror the side mirror and the truck is lined up with tom and (laughs) Tom's pulling out this beam and he's like this and he just turns and he just freezes and the truck just hits him (laughs) spins him around he rolls into the bed and I'm like oh Jesus and Tate's like shit he hits the brakes (laughs) so Tom gets up falls down to his knee gets up and he he moves over and he's just barking. He's like in the truck, and I'm like, oh my god! He unleashes a a, t- a tirade of swear words. It was like on the Christmas story when the guy was like, "Fuck me, Flizzin Bedford!" Like, you know, like uh, Griswold's vacation when Chevy Chase is like, "God damn it!" And the the I, I was like, oh my god! So he opens up the truck door. He slides in. I'm in the middle. And Tate's like, Tate's like driving. He's up against the thing. Cause dude, Tom's grabbing him and he's like roughing him up and he's punched it. And I'm like, Oh my God. And I, so we get up to the thing and he's like, gets out. And I, I look at his elbow and there's a piece of steel, a sliver, the size of a pencil sticking out three inches uh, out of his forearm, uh, like this sticking out like that and bleed just dripping. And he ain't even, not even looking at it. Just uh, puts a towel over his head, <laughs> sits in a lawn chair, shirt unbuttoned. Sandy's like, Tom, you want, you want some lemonade? You want some guys tea? You want some lemonade? She brings him out some lemonade and he sits and it never acknowledges the steel sliver sticking out of his arm. <laughs> this big, four inches sticking out, <laughs> dripping under the skin. Four inches <laughs> under, the, it was an eight inch long sliver. And I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, that is the toughest. I'm like, that guy was the, I'm like, that guy is the epitome of a Neanderthal caveman, hard ass guy. Like, I'm like, <laughs> that's the hands down, the toughest individual. I'm like, how is he not fl-? like, oh my God, my damn. And I think your dude, I think your mom like poured like whiskey on it and he bit a spoon. <laughs> ripped it out like i think i think she was like okay hold on she like (laughs) just went he was like "Ah!" pulled it out and put like a hot branding iron on it and (laughs) cauterized it i don't even know how he got it out oh then what happened then what happened uh, happened? so then tate got all sad and he like meandered up in the rafters and he ordered a pizza that got dropped off at the barn and he ate a medium pizza up on a rafter crying with his feet dangling down and your dad just berated him i stood awkwardly for 35 minutes in the shop while your dad yelled at tate up in the, and tate ate a pizza and i was like damn i'm kind of hungry but i don't want to say anything and tom was pissed with a towel around his head i'm like dude this is crazy dad. And he, and he went out and he like came in late. Right. And he was like, out. I don't even know if he was like partying or whatever, but so it was like, 
New Year's Eve, probably, right? Because Medina's at the end of the year. So I remember my dad woke us all up. And he's like, hey, I need everybody to come down here. And we're like, what is going on? You know, it's like one, two in the morning. Well, Ferd was past his curfew. And mind you, it's winter time. <laughs> so my dad, <laughs> dude, this is awesome. My dad opened the, he opened the inside door, but he left the screen door. The screen door was the only thing that was open. It was the only thing that was closed, actually. And nobody does that in the winter, obviously, right? Like, it's like you have your storm door closed or your your door, you know, permanent door. You have it closed. Well, Ferd, he was like, it's great to hear Ferd tell it. He's like, I knew something was wrong because I came home and it was the middle of winter. And just the screen door was open the other door or the screen door was closed and the other door was open and it was winter and you know we heated by uh we we heated by wood right we had wood fire wood stove he's like i knew something was wrong and he said he walked up and he said he did the old thing where he looked in the screen like this oh god T-bone punch him in the face. Punch him right in the face oh, through the screen. And he's like, I woke up and I was in like the snow and my face was all bloody. 